The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. The mother of Jesus was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited. When they ran out of wine, since the wine provided for the wedding was all finished, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said, Woman, why turn to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. There were six stone water jars standing there meant for the ablutions that are customary among the Jews. Each could hold 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water, and they filled them to the brim. Draw some out now, he told them, and take it to the steward. They did this. The steward tasted the water, and it had turned into wine. Having no idea where it came from, only the servants who had drawn the water knew. The steward called the bridegroom and said, People generally serve the best wine first and keep the cheaper sort till the guests have had plenty to drink, but you have kept the best wine till now. This was the first of the signs given by Jesus. It was given at Cana in Galilee. He let his glory be seen and his disciples believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. I wonder what would Our Lady say to us if we could hear her speak right now, here on this 11th of February, 2021, in the middle of a pandemic, locked down and with bitter weather. I try to imagine the 14-year-old Bernadette going with her relation and friends to pick sticks the side of the river Gav and she sees Our Lady one of the 18 times when she had the apparitions all of us who love Lourdes have a great resonance with that place and maybe if we Imagine in our minds looking up at the statue there as I look up at the image here in the cathedral. I imagine Mary saying what we have just read in the Gospel of John, the account of the wedding at Cana. Our Lady saying to you and me regarding her son, Do whatever he tells you. We've heard it many times. Well, isn't it good to hear it again? Do whatever he tells you. Learn to trust in him again. Our faith has been tested now in this pandemic. We have been shaken out of any complacency so many, in inverted commas, certainties certainties have been undermined completely, turned upside down. And the Lord is asking us once again to trust him. Jesus, I trust in you. I am not in charge. We human beings are not in charge. God is in charge. We are mere creatures. 
So we turn to him and we follow, we follow Mary's good advice, her good counsel, our Lady of Lourdes, our Lady of Good Counsel, imploring us, encouraging us, do whatever he tells you. So we learn to trust him. How do we do that? We ask him. We ask him for faith, greater faith and greater trust each day. We leave the past to his mercy. We entrust the future to his providence. And we entrust the presence to his love right now. Each day, for you and me to make that time to sit in silence, to pray, to speak, and to listen. And in that way, we will learn to trust. And in the ups and downs of each day, to say, Lord, show me how to act in this situation. And we learn to trust. And at the end of each day, we can say to the Lord, Today I have learned to trust you just that little bit more. And we thank God for that as we increase our trust in him and we do what he is telling us. Amen.